the vertex form of a quadratic is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And in that form of the equation, the a is the scale, tells us how steep the graph is, or the slope of the graph. It also tells us if the graph opens upwards or downwards. If a is positive, then the graph opens upwards. And if a is negative, then the graph opens downwards. So a is the value in front of the squared term. And then when the, the quadratic is written in this form, h comma k, so h is the value subtracted from x in the parentheses and k is the value added or subtracted after the parentheses, h comma k is the vertex point. So, for example, find the vertex and determine whether the parabola opens up and down. For the equation y equals 3 times x minus 5 squared plus 7. So first the a value is this value. So since a equals 3, 3 is a positive number, this quadratic, this parabola opens upwards. So that means if we were to graph it, it would look somewhat like this. So that's the a value, the graph opens upwards. The vertex point is h comma k, where h is the value subtracted from x, and k is the value added or subtracted at the end. So the vertex for this function is 5 comma 7. Example 2, graph this parabola, then find its vertex and axis of symmetry. The equation is y equals x squared minus 2x minus 6. In order to graph this, we could change it to vertex form, or we can plot points that would fall on the graph. We can plot points using an xy table. Let's start by plugging in negative 2 for x. That would be negative 2 squared minus 2 times negative 2 minus 6. So that is 4 plus 4 minus 6, so the y value is 2. Plug in the point negative 1. x squared, negative 1 squared would be positive 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 would be positive 2. And then minus 6 is 1 plus 2 minus 6 is negative 3. And now we'll plug in 0. 0 squared is 0, negative 2 times 0 is 0, and then the end of the function is minus 6. So 0 plus 0 minus 6 is 0, negative 6. And then let's plug in 1. 1 squared is 1, minus 2 times 1 is negative 2, minus 6. That's 1 minus 2 minus 6, which is negative 7. So 1, negative 7 is on the graph. And then plug in 2. 2 squared is 4. Minus 2 times 2 is negative 4. Minus 6 is 4 times minus 4 minus 6, negative 6. So we get the point 2, negative 6 on the graph. We can see just from these points what the vertex is because it's the turning point. So we have the vertex. I'm going to go ahead and plug in just one more point. I'm going to plug in 3. 3 squared is 9. Minus 2 times 3 is negative 6. And then minus 6 is negative 3. So the point 3, negative 3 is on the graph. 
So drawing our graph and our vertex is the turning point of the graph. So the point one comma negative seven. The axis of symmetry is the line that divides the parabola in half. It goes through the middle of the parabola and through the vertex. And that is the vertical line x equals negative one. Sorry, x equals positive one is the axis of symmetry for this graph. Example three, find the equation of the quadratic function with vertex negative four, negative one that passes through the point negative two, seven. To do this, we're gonna start with vertex form, y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And the first thing that we know is the vertex point, which is h comma k. So we'll plug in negative four, negative one for h and k into this vertex form. So negative four for h and negative one for k. And then rewrite the rest of the function. y equals a times x minus negative four squared plus negative one. Rewriting that we get y equals a times x plus four squared plus negative one we can write as minus one instead. So the only part of this vertex form that we do not have is the a value. To get the a value we can plug in this point that we have and then solve for the a value after plugging in that point. So we would get seven in for y and negative two for x and then rewrite the rest of the function. Seven equals a times negative two plus four squared minus one. Simplifying, we get seven equals a negative two plus four is positive two squared minus one. That is seven equals a, two squared is four, so a times four minus one. So now to solve for a, we would add one to both sides to get eight equals a times four. And then last step to solve for a would be to divide by four on both sides. And we would get that a is equal to two. And then we can write the equation of the quadratic function. So it's almost what we had written here, except now we replace a with two. So this equation is y equals two times x plus four squared minus one.